um, welcome back. It's October. Um, every morning when I wake up and I draw the curtains, the valley is full of mist. Um, the leaves are turning. There's that unmistakable smell of wood smoke in the air. And I love this time of year. I love autumn. I love the, all the bounty that we get from the harvest. I love the colours. I love that sort of feel at like Christmas to the air in the morning and the evening and those amazing sunrises and sunsets that we get. Um, especially here on Exmoor, it's just the most beautiful, uh, the most beautiful thing. And I'm really looking forward to doing some lovely autumn stuff with John and Immy. Um, you know, going up to watch the stags rutting, going walking and kicking through leaves. And the baby's just at the point now where she sort of, uh, she can't walk by herself, but she can walk if I hold her hands. So put her little shoes on and go and kick through some leaves. And it's going to be great. I'm really excited. Um, so I just thought I would celebrate the arrival of autumn proper with um, an autumn wreath. And love wreaths. Um, I make them, I make hundreds of the things every Christmas, um, but I have been known to make Easter wreaths and uh, summer wreaths and autumn wreaths as well because I just think it's a lovely way to welcome people into your home and sort of set the tone for the season, especially at this time of year when people come over because I'm making endless cups of tea and spiced cider and sort of warming hot things and casseroles and cakes and stuff like that. So it's just nice to set the tone. And if you don't, you know, if you live in a in a flat where you don't have sort of your own front door or you can't hang wreaths on your door they're also really lovely to do as sort of candle centerpieces you just just pop your wreath on the table and stick a candle in the middle of it and it will look absolutely gorgeous okay so i have got my materials here to make my autumn wreath with um i will link to a photo down below on instagram of like all of the ingredients that i've used so you can see them close up uh, with more detailed description of what they are. This is the wreath I'm using. Um, it's like a little willow wreath. I think it's only a couple of pounds from Hobbycraft. Um, and again, I'll link it down below. And it's really good. I've actually, I've had this for about three years and it's been all sorts of different wreaths. And I just take the old decorations off and put new ones on and just sort of keep changing it up when I get bored. So they're really good buy. They're such, they're so cheap. They're really good value and they really last as well. I mean, this one, sort of stayed on our front door as a spring wreath through the most horrendous storms it wasn't very springy um and it survived so goodbye this really goodbye okay so the first thing i'm going to do is put some string on it to hang it and um, i'm going to hang it on our back door this is nutseen garden twine it comes in loads of colors and you can see here in my trusty garden shrug lots of colors there i absolutely love it it's my favorite string for using for all floristry things I cut a nice length of it, I'm just going to loop it through like that, pull it tight, just make sure it's nice and neat. There we go, so that, that's my string attached. So you can see here I've got my oak leaves ready to go, I've got that lovely dyed oak leaf and then the natural oak leaves that I picked from the hedge outside. And I'm just going to take the leaves and cut the ends off so you don't have long bits. But cut it at a nice angle so it looks natural and sort of work out where you want your placement to be and then these are just some lovely natural oak leaves they're just on the turn now so they look really beautiful and just place them there together and work out where you want them to be so they look nice and get your glue gun ready to stick them down okay so we've got the glue gun and i'm just going to put some blobs of glue on the back of the leaf and press it down quite hard, be careful you don't burn yourself, but press it down quite hard onto the wreath so it sticks. And some on the other oak leaf. Nice, press it down nice and hard. If it sort of flips off a bit like that, just put a little bit more glue. Just keep whacking the glue on until it sticks, it'll be fine. Okay, so this is my sunflower seed head beautiful sunflowers faded and i just picked all the petals off and i've cut the stem off and i'm going to put loads of glue on that to get it on it's a really nice way of using up flowers when it seems like they've gone and they're not used anymore but actually you can reuse them and make something really beautiful you'll need quite a lot of glue for that so really push it down nice and hard so these are the leaves that i made just with watercolor paper messing around with autumnal coloured watercolours and then using cookie cutters to cut out leaf shapes and there's a really nice effect it's a good activity that kids can join in as well so 
Now we've got some rose hips that I found in the hedgerow. Um, they are really lovely. I just going to add those in behind the seed head just with a little bit of glue like that just press them down and then these are my little craspedia acorns which i will show you how to make in a minute they're really really gorgeous so fun and they're so unexpected no one is going to have seen those before i don't think i like to think that i made it up So that's the bottom bit nice and finished. Okay, so this is how we're going to make the Craspedia acorns. I've just got an acorn cup that I found in the hedgerow during a little rummage and a dried Craspedia. These are amazing, they last so long. Um, so you can buy them fresh from the florists and just keep them out of water, keep dry them and they'll last forever and ever, basically. So just cut the stem off like that. And I'm going to use my glue gun just to put a little blob of glue in the bottom of the acorn cup and then stick in the craspedia and let that dry and that will just look absolutely gorgeous and it's really unexpected and fun and surprising. I'm just going to add some feathers before I put stick some more things on the top. Um, these are the pheasant feathers um, that my friend saved for me and I'm just going to poke those in behind. You don't need to glue them in anything they'll just sort of poke in and stick into the willow wreath. But they're a really lovely way to add some nice movement to your wreath to make it look a little bit less predictable. Okay, now I've got those, I'm going to pop this other oak leaf on the top like that. And another little feather. Again, just poke that in, don't need to glue it. Stick some glue on the oak leaf and stick it down. and get some of these other little things. This is one of those lovely little felt shapes that I found in Lidl and more of the rose hips that were just hanging about in the hedgerow outside my front door. It's lovely felt shapes, they've been so useful. I put them on all sorts of things um, and they just look great in all these autumny designs. And just finish off with another of these little Craspedia acorns. Looking lovely. And maybe one of those wooden buttons that I've collected. And there we go, that is the finished article. I'm very pleased with that. So there it is, my finished autumn wreath. I'm gonna hang that on the back door, it's gonna welcome visitors. And that's going to be a really lovely way to just start to celebrate all the wonderful things about autumn. Um, if, you, if your door is quite exposed and you're worried about everything getting rained on, um, you can just cover everything with a coating of quite heavy duty hairspray and that will help protect it. But if you're really worried, then maybe just keep it inside, hang it on the wall. Um, I might make another one and put it on the wall in the kitchen because they're so sweet. So I'll put a link down below for the wreath from Hobbycraft and the photo of all of the different ingredients that I used and I hope you enjoyed it. I, if you do make an autumn wreath, and I really hope you do, please show me um, on Instagram, which I'll link below, at Sarah Hill Flowers, tag me, show me what you've made. Um, let's sort of spread that autumnal October joy and, uh, and start to get in the spirit of the season.